for people who don't know, Alice Sound is a, a name that you've used for years. Right. Um, do you feel like it's, there's not really one identity to what Alice Sound is? I mean, is, is it always sort of evolving? My intentions are to have a really random discography, like completely change for each album. I mean, I have so many types of music I'm interested in, and the capability to to make music so quickly uh, and, and be pleased with the product. Um, like, for instance, this record is really kind of a lush, um, kind of electronics are prevalent on it. Reverb kind of like, um, like coats the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And it sounds kind of like nostalgic for that, I think. Sounds kind of like, like a memory or something. And it does have this certain <clears throat> emotional context that I'm not, that I don't relate to anymore, you know, that I did at the time. Last summer, I was going through some, you know, just weird um, stuff uh, uh, related to like my physical condition. I um, was exhausted and stuff. I just felt like I had this, um, impression that I wasn't going to have very much more time left. Really? Yeah, and I was just like, well, this is going to be my record that I'm going to make for my best friend, Lockett, who had a big impact on my life because of certain medical things or whatever. Um, I do feel a little bit challenged, you know, and I feel like I don't have, I can't really imagine living very long. I don't care about anything except making as much music as I can to be remembered by, you know. Can you talk a bit about the the healing music initiative you started up and, and what the response has been like? Well, um, this one kid sent me an email and she had had a open heart surgery. And she's, you know, she's a big fan of our music and she kind of, she's a young girl, she's maybe 16, 17. And she's just a really sweet person. And she, you know, she wrote me about her experience growing up ever since she was a child. She's had heart problems. She has a pacemaker and, you know, everybody, like, she gets me fun of for that for some reason, which I don't understand. And, but, I mean, I can remember how it was back then. I mean, you forget so easy mm -hmm. how hard it was in high school and how much, like, music helps, like, get through that and stuff. And, um, and she asked... Uh, you know, if I would make her a song to listen to when she was stressed out. Because she's actually just found out she has to have more heart surgery. And it's like too much for, a, you know, a, a young, active 16 or 17 year old girl to deal with. You know, it's sad. I've been there because right. I had extensive surgeries when I was that age. Mm -hmm. And I literally just like cut off my compositional part of my brain. I cut off my lyr lyrical narrative side of my brain and I literally just wanted to just record like a raw like s song that could help her feel better. Like it would be kind of like audio Xanax mm -hmm. or like an audio tranquilizer and it would just like you know help her relax before she has to have surgery or something. I just wanted to try. Right. Um, I met this avant-garde composer, Polino Oliveros, mm -hmm. in Atlanta, uh, randomly at a dinner party. And she sat down with me and told me in so much detail about how music can literally help people through, through alpha waves and delta waves and all this stuff, which, you know, is a, a little bit over my head, but, I mean, I understood what she was saying, what she was saying. It was, music can have a physical healing effect on people, you know? It's not so much about emotion. It's not... It's not like an emo thing. I can see how that gets misconceived by a lot of people that read the blog. Is it's like, like some kind of like emo, like s precious, mm -hmm. like healing. It's like that's not what it's about. It's about people that actually are in physical pain and like suffering and need some kind of release. Because when I was in surgeries, when I was I was in intensive care for like a month when I was 16 years old. In the summer I was 16. The summer that all my friends were partying and like, you know, getting their first cars and stuff. I was like at a children's hospital. 
Like, and the girl next to me, you know, like a little girl like next to me died, and it was, you know, a real. I think it really made me kind of a bitter person for the rest of my life in a way, because I don't know, it just affected me d really deeply. Man, music is just a really like heavy, heavy, heavy vehicle. I've been getting more response from kids that like, you know, this music has really helped them. And I don't have anything to offer other than just the songs. All right, for more on Bradford Cox, go to Rhapsody.com slash Atlas Sound.